Hello lovely people, today I'm sharing with you a noodles recipe. My girls love this recipe so much and you'll be surprised how wholesomely delicious it is. So just stay with me. So I start off by bringing some water to a boil and add my chow mein noodles. You'll be surprised how simple this recipe is guys. And while it's boiling about 3 to 5 minutes, I go on to attack my vegetables. So I have kale, one of my favorite greens. I use about four to five leaves of it. Onions and a shallot, cabbage, um, red bell peppers, about half of that. One zucchini, I'll throw in some um, green onions and some soy sauce, um, two tablespoons. And then we have to think about our proteins, right? And so there comes our eggs. I use four in all. Now this recipe is good for about three to four people. So that works out to about one egg per person. Now let's get on to preparing our special meal. I'm going to start off with warming some oil, olive oil in this case, um, in, a, in a pan. And then add in the sliced onions and shallots. And basically saute it toss it around the pan. I do it until it's about uh, translucent or towards the golden brown side. And I tell you, as you find out from this video, this is really simple. It has lots of vegetables, very wholesome, very tasty. You don't always have to buy food if you want Asian inspired dishes. You can make your, give your own twist to it. And a funny thing that happened, I just found that I had some white mushrooms in the refrigerator. So I decided to add it in and this would be the right time to do it. Just slice it up and then add it on to the onions that have already been sautéed. As you can see, it's translucent to golden brown. And just stir it up. Mushrooms cook down quickly and it all goes in to give a very nice flavor and texture to this dish as you'll find and guys i'd love for you to think nutrition whenever you're cooking whatever you can add to make the food more nutritious that won't disturb you know the flavor profile you're trying to create here i add in a teaspoon of garlic powder this is what i use just in case it's familiar and now you add in your chopped up cabbage um, it might look like a lot in the beginning, but it cooks down really well. Um, this is more of a leafy type of cabbage. I realize there's another type that um, the texture is a little bit more woody, but this is more leafy, it's softer, and cooks down really well. So just stir it in and let it steam all, cook it through. So guys, imagine all this goodness and wholesome uh, foods, all that fiber and nutrients that's going to be mixed with our noodles. This is a brilliant way of balancing out some of the foods we eat, which may be less than ideal, but this is all about improving the overall effect. So at this point, our sliced zucchini comes in, our chopped up kale, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. And just mix it in, cook it through, let the steam work through the vegetables. It doesn't need to cook down so much. You can add the noodles now and you'll find that it's not easy to work through with just one wooden spoon so I had to get another one to help me to mix it through. Just mix it until you have the vegetables nicely um, dispersed within the noodles or everything is evenly distributed. Now I'm using two tablespoons soy sauce for this whole recipe. You realize I added just one um, for now and I'm going to add the other tablespoon towards the end. And just watch the soy sauce. Um, I tried to get the low sodium one but just watch out because it's very salty and so make sure you have all the soy sauce in before you balance it out with salt. I add here the chopped up red bell peppers. I like it a little bit more crunchy. It's also adding up a boost of bright color and just mix, mix, mix. That's all we seem to be doing in this recipe, isn't it? Push that aside. Now let's focus on our protein. We're using four eggs to be exact. Just crack your eggs, add a little bit of salt and mix it up. And then we're gonna warm a pan, just like you would make an omelet, right? With a little bit of oil in it, add your beaten eggs and stir. Just cook it until it's done. 
Now you realize that this is not a typical Asian style where there's a lot of oil and the eggs go in and they stir it up. You get very nice thin um, egg pieces. This is how it turns out because I'm making it like a home omelet style, trying to control how much eggs, um, how much oil, sorry, that's going in. So now you just add it into your noodles that we were making earlier. And again, what do you do? You got it. Mix. I'll let you in on some of the sizzling sounds here. You just keep mixing and taste just to, you know, see how things are well mixed together. And at this point, I'm going to add the other tablespoon of the soy sauce. I just spread it around the top and I continue what I do best. I'm just going to mix everything together just to, you know, round out the flavors, round out the taste. And now we're basically done. It's all done, guys. We have everything that we wanted to put in. It's all ready. This is the final product I garnished with our sliced green onions. And just behold that scrumptiousness. I've tasted it already, so I know what I'm talking about. And here's my serving suggestion. I added some crushed um, peanuts on the side. Also gave a drizzle of dried pepper flakes. And it is just awesome from here on, guys. You would want to try this and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Feel free to leave a comment. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Oh well, okay. I can't wait to eat that. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll come your way again next time. Bye.